Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations. Plus, vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. Please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. Education Report on TV. Promoting excellence in education on television. With a mission to enroll indigent children to enjoy quality private education at an affordable and subsidized rate, Bridge International Academics was established in Nigeria with two schools recently commissioned in Lagos State. The two schools are situated in Ijegu in Alimosha local government and Ibobo in Ikorodu local government. Speaking at the commissioning of the school in Ijegu, one of the founders of the academics Mrs. Shannon May disclosed that Bridge International Academics is set to give children in the rural area quality education of international standard. I've been coming back and forth a bit to Nigeria and specifically to Lagos since 2007 when we first started to think about how I and my husband could make a difference in children's lives and how we could make sure that every child Every child in the world has a world-class education. The academy manager, Mr. Raymond Anyagi, made it known that Bridge will provide solutions to all the challenges bedeviling the education sector. What Bridge does originally to help families who would originally not be able to afford uh, high quality education to help them afford it by bringing the, the cost down because we believe that every child has the right to high quality education this is why we do what we do and we will provide answers to all the educational challenges or problems we, we have noticed among the, the society. Supporting the vision of Bridge International Academics is ASEAN Microfinance Bank and Paga Mobile Money. Why are we here today? Our bank is very passionate about education, especially when it involves young children. We support the education of young children by giving them school bags and materials for their school. But this time around, we decided to partner with Bridge International Academy because the children are our future. When we talk about PAGA, we are trying to say maybe just to simplify payment. You will notice that you that have paid for registration one fee or the other at Bridge International School, you will notice that you didn't go to the bank. There is no need for you going to the bank to do that. What we are trying to do is that just to make payment very convenient for you. You don't need to go to a control and queue at the bank for 15 minutes, one hour before you can make payments. So we are supposed to be a collection point for Bridge International School. Popular comedian and actor Afis Oyetoro, also known as Saka, was the celebrity of the day. And while sharing his true life experience, he charged parents and guardians to ensure that their wards get the best of education irrespective of their financial status. My parents sent me to school. They gave me good education. I remember when I gained admission to the university, my father was building a house. He stopped it and he sent me to the university. I went to the University of Ife for my first degree. I went to the University of Ibadan for my master's. I am doing my PhD right now. For the glory of God, I am having good education. And that education has taken me to a lot of places. I thank God. Now, today, I am also in front of important people like this. I am also in front of important people like you, and you are looking at me. I see presidents here in the next 10 years. I see governors. I see ministers. I see a lot of people that are very relevant to this society. And that is why we should give a round of applause for Bridge International Academy. The Director General of the Office of Education Quality Assurance in Lagos State, Mrs. Runke Shiyombo, made it known that the Ministry of Education was ready to collaborate with the founders of the academics to make education affordable and accessible to every child. I'm happy to inform you that we have enjoyed a cordial relationship with private education providers 
and hope it to be sustained. We appreciate the critical role of the private sector in education because government cannot, with the scarce resources, make available or to cater for all the educational needs in the country. We appreciate your contributions to the development of education in the state and implore you to keep up the good work. I also urge you to mentor all the schools who are below the expected level. Also present at the event was the publisher of TW Magazine, Mrs. Adesua Oyenokwe, and she gave kudos to the founders of the school for touching the lives of these young ones. So when it comes to education, I am happy to see the fact that people who want the best for their children but cannot afford to do that are getting the opportunity to do so. So when I hear that somebody is making it possible for people to pay as little as 2,000 Naira a month, 20,000 Naira a year, to get their children the best kind of schools, I can only say, please, can we applaud the British Academies? High points of the day was the commissioning of the school building, scholarship raffle draw, which had Zikru Lai Ambali, a primary two pupil of the school winning a year scholarship, cultural and song presentation by the pupils. At the commissioning of the school in Igbogbo Ikorodu, the education manager, Mr. Bode Alazan, spoke on the idea behind the name of the school. I met some parents, I asked them, uh, I told them the name of the school is Bridge, and what they continue to ask me, is that what is the meaning of bridge and i told them bridge means a platform where the children of everyone who have equal opportunity to high quality education so i'm proud this afternoon to tell you now to tell you sir that your children are having the opportunity here yeah, to high quality education in this academy which we have at number 11 democrat street the high quality education is going to be Affordable. In his goodwill message, the chairman of the occasion, the Ashwaju of Iboburiri, Ashwaju Olorum Fumi Basham, appreciated the founders of Bridge International Academics for coming to the aid of the children in the area. Whoever is doing up today should take interest in the education of our children and their health. Once these two are off, every other thing will fall. And the health body and the, and the educated body. It's a country by itself. So I very much admire what is happening today. And I urge you all parents to have faith because I had a lot of questions and I was satisfied. Going to the school administration officer, Ikurudu Local Government Education Authority, Alaji Afolabi Jamu, appealed to parents and guardians to register their words and bridge international academics to get quality education at an affordable price. I'm appealing to every parent here, let us give education to our children. And as I started, I said, Education starts from cradle to the end of human life. In the light of this, I'm appealing to all our parents that are here. Please register your children with each international academy. The celebrity of the day was popular Yoruba actor Femi Adebayo, and he also charged those present to make education of their children a priority. To go to school is expensive. That's the belief of so many people. But Bridge International Academies has made this very simple. So what we are saying in essence is that a very, very standard education is in Igbo at an extremely affordable price. One of the founders of the academics, J. Q. Merman, in his keynote address, stated that at Bridge International Academics, the teachers are well trained to give their best in the classrooms. We work with communities who stand up and say, we want a better education for our children. Not only do we want it better, we want the best education for our children. At Bridge International Academies, we make sure that every day, you have a teacher that is trained in your classroom teaching your children, that is prepared for every lesson, every single day. The event was spiced up with the presentation of awards to individuals who have contributed immensely to the establishment of the school in the area, presentation of gifts, and scholarship award to pupils. Some of the parents present were full of joy as they gave kudos to the management of the school for their kind gesture. My daughter won the scholarship at the school. Well, I'm very grateful. I wish that God will bless them with prosperity. I'm very appreciative for what they've done. 
in our town. I'm very, very happy for those people. For those people I, that they bring the Brig Academy International School to our town here, I'm very, very happy. And may God bless them. My school is beautiful and I like this school and they are teaching very much. Other guests present also shared their views with education reports on TV. From, uh, from the governor's office to the Ministry of Education, um, it is very clear that in Lagos now, uh, the government is welcoming and looking for partners to ensure that there are great services for all families in all communities across um, across the great state, such as here in Nabobo. And so we have uh, been welcomed with open arms and we are incredibly excited to partner with the government over that. When I started the training, I knew it was nothing about light. It was very real. And you know, for the, like the computer teachers that we've been giving, instead of the lesson notes, you know, what we saw is we're like, are we going to cope with this kind of method or in our own country yeah but we later discover that this thing could work yeah we have to give children textbook I even at the expense that their price are even affordable so that they're very different and you can see how people turn up not because of any other thing but because what people could see in us is not what they can get in other schools well this is a very beautiful innovation that's going to help um, education in Nigeria um, I must be sincere that um, I really really like this idea of uh, making very standard education affordable to all Nigerians. Bridge International Academies, you've done so well. And when I heard about this, I feel very great because it's more or less service to humanity. The fact that uh, someone is really thinking about how to bridge the gap between the children of the rich and that of the poor, uh, the fact that someone is thinking about providing quality education at an affordable price, you know, that's something really to, to be commended. So this is a wonderful in initiative. According to the founders, Bridge International Academics would have leverage and technology and economic realities to dispense quality knowledge at subsidized rate. And by 2025, the school would have trained 10 million children in several third world nations. Thank you.